Hey fellas, it's been a while since I added a video. Sorry it took so long. As you can tell, this is uh, something new in the shop. It is a 19-inch uh, swing LeBlond. It's got a five-horse motor. Several speeds to choose from. We've been working on getting this thing running. It has uh, came out of a school. It... Uh, it had been setting for 10 years. We found uh, the motor bearings had rusted. So we tore the motor out, cleaned, um, took a bunch of the wiring and stuff out that we don't need anymore. We got it uh, almost back together. We got a few things left to clean up. It does have a coolant pump down here in the tail. So far it, uh, after we redone the motor, it's uh, pretty quiet. Everything seems to work real good. Uh, we are running it on our uh, five horse Allen Bradley drive. Um, just as a temporary, we got it unwired from the mill. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start it up. You can take a listen. You'll hear the belt squeaking. It's a notched belt on the headstock that's squeaking still. It's uh, super super tight and it doesn't look like there's any much of adjustment for it so uh, there's the uh, five horse motor that we had out and pulled new bearings in got it all back together go ahead brian <clears throat> this thing had been setting like i said i think for 10 years or so So we cleaned out the gearbox completely, put uh, all new 30 weight uh, oil back in it. It really calls for 20, but it's really hard to find around here. A uh, little extra, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. No more we're probably gonna run it. Uh, well right there we're running 770 RPM. That's some practice threads and some turning that I've been playing with. Uh, so we still got the cover off all the gears are in really good shape uh, the transmission when we had it apart had a little bit of stuff in it but all the gears are good um, all the uh, all the speeds and feeds work so there's been gear we can turn on the There's the carriage running. There's for cutting, and then the, here's for threading. And then uh, it took a little bit, and Brian's the one that found it. Uh, he had a manual at where he works. You pull this thing out and push it down, and it'll run the cloth feed. And down here, it changes directions. So. Not sure quite why it quit, but uh, oh, it kicked out of gears all. But uh, everything seems to work on it pretty well. Uh, we've actually threaded and made a few parts here and there on it, so uh, the spindle seems to run pretty quiet and pretty true. Well, anyway. We thought we'd show you the new toy. Um, it's a rather large lathe for our shop, but it seems to do, uh, should be able to do about anything that we ever want to do with it. Um, we still got to clean the chip pan, and it's, this set in a, uh, a fabrication shop where they've done a bunch of grinding and welding, and uh, you can see that the the stuff there is still setting in it. And that's what all the ways looked like when I when we got it. So, well, uh, probably pretty shaky tonight. My camera, my phone's just about dead. So, oh, have a good evening. Uh, more to come on this. So, later.